everyone, and welcome again to Bible Stories. Now, our story today is actually from Joshua, the end of chapter 5 and the beginning of chapter 6. Now, what happens is Joshua hears from the commander of the army of the Lord about the plan for taking Jericho. And it's really interesting because it's walking. So I often wondered how Joshua's men felt about hearing this plan and what they were to do. Did they have faith or not? So that's something I really wanted to see. So we have come back in time, and it's the reason I'm in disguise. So we're back in time, and oh, I think I hear the people. Excuse me. That's interesting. Hey, little girl, what you got there? Ooh, what's in your basket? I got some coins. Coins? What kind of coins? Just mine. Hey, that's nice. Ooh. Where'd you get it? My wife and I have been looking for one. Oh, this. I've had it for a while. Here, really? have it. Are you sure? Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Ooh. Yeah, ours got rusted through. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Hello, everyone. Whoa. Oh, hey. How is it going, Joshua? Hey, Caleb. It's good. going good. I have a message from the Lord. <gasps> yeah, message. I'll explain the plan. Okay. We To take Jericho. Ooh. We we first circle the city one time in silence. Okay. The, on, the only time will we we have the only noise we have will be from the tr trumpets. Okay, got a question. What? So the circle in Jericho is this like a siege type circle where we surround them? Yeah, no. Huh? No. Oh, what kind of circle? We 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 walk around Jericho and we also have the ark. We do, this sure. for, we do this for we do this for six days. Yeah. Wait, what okay. is it gonna do? Okay. We walk around Jericho once a day. Yes. For six days. Yes. But we gotta be quiet. Yes. Why? Okay. On the seventh day, we on the seventh day we circle the city seven times, seven okay. times, and in silence. Still in silence. Okay. okay. Uh, and we and then once we made a full circle, we stop. And ye yell. Ooh. Okay. What is that going to do? God, God will bring down the city. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah. So, who's with me? Uh, a battle! Do we have another option? Go back to Egypt and be slaves. Nope, I'm with you. So, what did you guys think of that? Pretty interesting, huh? <laughs> the interaction between Joshua and Caleb is really funny. Well, they're old time friends. They actually were together in another Bible story that we may go over one time. But some of them weren't very willing to go and do as God told Joshua, were they? Caleb, he just kind of ran off the scene, really excited for battle. But the others weren't too excited for it, were they? They kind of hemmed and hawed. Well, do we have another option? Is there something else we could do? This doesn't make sense. But they went ahead anyways because, well, their other option wasn't very good. And also I think that part of them knew that there was something interesting about what God was going to do because they knew the stories of the Red Sea crossing. They knew all the stuff that had just happened. How often are we like that? How often do we kind of hem and haw about what God wants us to do. Yeah, I guess we could do it. Is there another way? Or are we like Caleb and, yeah, let's go battle, and just running away? Which one do we do? It's a good thing to think about, because God smiles when we are willing to do his will. His will. Yeah, we can find out what the plans are, like, well, like they did. They were asking, how is this going to work? What's the next step? God doesn't mind that, but if we're going to just sit there and, well, I don't know, I think it makes God sad. I personally want to be more like Caleb in this one, like Joshua in this one. Let's just go. Let's do it. So as this new year's coming about, well, coming, we're already in it. As this new year is going forward, let's make it a point to be like Joshua. 
where you hear something even though it doesn't make sense and you know what I'm gonna do it anyway Lord because I trust you and I know this is your will so in our daily lives let's make it a point read his word even though it doesn't always make sense well how could this battle apply to me God always has a lesson he can teach us so as we continue on throughout this year throughout this month and even just through this week Let's make it a point to do as we know God wants us to. Read his word, to obey our parents, to spend time with him in prayer, and just make it a point to love one another, like Jesus said, because he gave very specific commandments. They're actually really easy too. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, your soul, your mind, and your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Those are the two greatest commandments. So let's try and make it a point this week to keep them and do the best we can to obey and love the Lord. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Heavenly Father, I do thank you for this day. I thank you for everyone who's here, anyone who's watching, Lord. I pray for your wisdom and your strength just to guide us. Help us to know your will, what you want us to do. Help us to do as Joshua did in this case. And okay, let's just go. Help us to trust in you with all of our hearts and to love you with everything. It's in Jesus' most precious name I pray. Amen. All right, guys. we got to travel back to our time. Bye!